Has this ever happened to you? Despite encouragement from public health officials, as well as directions from in-store signs, a large number of people still choose to ignore social distancing when out shopping. I don't think it's a matter of believing the science. For the most part, the risk of ignoring social distancing are known. Instead, it comes down to two things. First of all, it's kind of weird. People want to be able to fit in. For the most part, it's easier to avoid making a statement or standing out. And if you're in a situation where you either have to dodge away from someone else getting too close or risk breaking your bubble, you're probably going to accept your fate to avoid being awkward. Second of all, what's the consequence? Let's say you accept your fate and you've let somebody get too close. Are you going to confront them? Probably not. And in fact, the most likely result is that you both continue going about your day like nothing happened. The issue here is that there's no reinforcement or punishment for following the rules. So what if that didn't have to be the case? If we had a way to visualize and remind people to social distance, it might help normalize the practice in public spaces. By normalizing it, you might feel less social pressure to ignore distancing, and having a visualizer would automatically give feedback to people getting too close. To do this, my conceptual solution uses projection mapping and camera tracking to monitor locations and project a bubble around people in the space. This non-invasive method would make sure that everyone becomes a participant and doesn't require any hardware on the individual that could be stolen or damaged. However, the tools to make this are complex and it would take a lot of time to make a prototype. So, to help investigate the social consequences of having some sort of visualization, my flatmates have kindly volunteered to wear hula hoops while playing some games. On feedback from Tuesday, I decided to focus on qualitative information rather than looking at actual direct outcomes on distancing, because I think that gives a better picture of what actually is going on. What I found supports the hypothesis. Overall, those wearing hula hoops found it a lot easier to remember to social distance, and those interacting with hula hoop wearers were more conscious of maintaining social distancing. To wrap things up, with development, the solution has the potential to help solve the problem identified, and make for a future public experience that keeps you a safe distance from human interaction.